Residents of Brownwood are enjoying five extra watering days. That started on Monday. The Brown County Water Improvement District is testing their new water treatment facility at a maximum rate, and this is to make sure that they can meet any needs of customers during peak demand. Brownwood reporter Sheena Stout spoke with Dennis Spinks. He's the general manager of the Brown County Water uh, Improvement District to get some facts here. Sheena? Wayne, Dennis Spinks says the goal is to put out 7.5 million gallons of water a day to certify the plant. And so far, reaching that 7.5 million hasn't been a problem. This week, Brownwood residents are taking advantage of eased water restrictions. On Monday, the Brown County Water Treatment Plant produced nearly 8.7 million gallons of water and exceeded that number on Tuesday, distributing 8.8 .8 million gallons of water into Brown County. Hold on. Dennis Spinks, general manager of the Brown County Water Improvement District, says both plants are being used to meet the demand of water. They started the uh, west plant also, so that that means that there is a significant demand on our system right now. Sprinklers can be seen in many yards. Fire hydrants are being tested by the fire department and parks are being watered by the city. The only restriction in place, do not waste any water. Be conservative with it. Uh, utilize it the best way possible on your yard, your foundation, your landscape, uh, but do not let it run down the street. Spink says the only way to prevent water runoff into the street is to monitor the water. And the extra watering days will end this Friday, and then Brownwood will, will return to a stage three requirements until further notice. Wayne. All right, thank you, Sheena. And a location for the new central fire station in Brownwood has been chosen. The Brownwood City Council approved city-owned property along Congress Street next to the Railroad Museum at the location uh, as the location for the new station. The station will be built where the existing American Red Cross building is located, as well as part of an RP, RV park there behind the building. The Red Cross building will be demolished to make room for the fire station.